Hi guys, this is me. I'm Storm Stacy. I race in the British Superbike Championship and I'm a bit different. I hope you enjoy the video. So, heading off now. Three hours. Let's do it. Not this track. We'll head for the next one. So, this looks like the right place. Brands Arch. Everyone in the olden area. On there. One of the little perks, being a super bike rider. <laughs> I don't know why, but they let you in early. But so you drive to the gate and they let you in. But we are here. Where's our garage? Which one are we in here? So, you're on a chest mount, and I'm just going to go for a ride down to the pits, and uh, and I'll show you what my Thursday looks like setting up to a race weekend. Phone there. Come on then. On that vlog life. Yes, Rory. Hello, YouTube. On the vlog life, scooting about. Did you have a nice flight? Yeah, it was great. Good. Never got to run so quickly in my life. I know, it's pretty mad, isn't it? Did a bit. On the vlog life. Good morning, Josh. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you? Yeah, living the dream. Good. All right, Tim. Hey, You're on fun. camera. I'm on the vlog life. Oh, look at that. I'm on it. I don't even need to f***ing do out. I just walk around to be me and it records. You all right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. Ready for it? Ready to go. Good, mate. F***ing ready to go. It's going to rain something. Though, isn't it? And Saturday it's meant to be, isn't it? That's what it is. So. I'm bothered either way, so. No, I know. Yeah. yeah. I think where they've uh, re tarmacked the slippy right. bits, I think like in the wet, obviously, the slippy bits have re tarmacked all them bits. Yeah. So in the, in the wet, it should be really grippy around here now. Yeah. I think it's going to be better for a lap time now, they've re tarmacked all them. Well, it was the same last year, wasn't it, when we came? At uh, the end of last year, it was yeah, the same, yeah. but we didn't have any wet. So. I think the bike will be a lot better now. It's, I think we'll be on it. I think we'll be f***ing on it. I'll do, mate. Morning, Mick. Morning, Mick. Morning pal. You all right? I'm on camera. Yeah. Good morning. So don't say anything to discriminate yourself. <laughs> Hello, team. Lovely day. <laughs> you both having a good day? Fantastic, Storm. Better seeing you, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Likewise. You OK? Yeah. Great. Did you bring me soda bread? Come on. Have you? Of course I did. No you, you way. You asked me, didn't you? No Come way. Come on. I can only get the, the small ones at the minute. Yeah, That's yeah. all I did. Thank you, Marty. I, I appreciate it. did I? You're the man. And you know what? I even brought them on the f***ing plane this week. What is it? It's like... It's like fried bread, basically. It's like salt bread. Well, see that, if you put that poster on you and have yeah. that with marmalade or anything in the morning, unbelievable. Got it's just uh, soda, bread, soda, soda flour in there, just flour and soda. Oh, oh Martin comes through with the soda bread. Oh, oh. Come on, yeah. Hello, mate. All right. Come on, a little setup here. So now I need to get my Super Soco scooter out. And I probably need to put it on charge. I'll match it.
That's the good thing with these scooters. Just so light, you can just whip them out of van. And yeah, this model does about 38 mile an hour. Well, 42 mile an hour. She's the right weapon. No messing. Yeah, that's it. That's my trolley full with all my kit. Brand new set of levers in there. Repaired set in there, so they're comfy. Um, I'll probably go out and practice with them on. Um, and then FP2, I might wear my new suit to bed that in. Or maybe the other way around. Don't like starting the weekend in a new suit, really. Um, but yeah, take it down to the garage, get set up. That's it, all set up. Levers, mint, airbag, mint. Rucksack with all my random stuff in. Handlebars, band, band's always in here, because I can leave that in the corner. Helmets are all covered up at the minute, waiting for AGV helmet prep guys to get here so i'll take them down to them and they'll prep them for the weekend rst gloves i need to give them a bit of a clean up um, and then skipping rope everything just everything i need spare sliders that are worn out not brand new i'll pick some sliders up when i go down to rst but yeah we're on it i've just rigged up a uh, one of my gopros on a selfie stick so i can do a bit of recording with that and uh yeah, I think we're well away, yeah, I think we're on it. I'm in a really good mood, really good place. Yeah, let's do it. Sandwiches for you. Ham sandwiches. Get you It's like a gun. Go. Go, go, go. That's the tea. Whoa. And now we can stay too. <laughs> So, we're out on a trek walk. Ready? What do you reckon, dogs? Trek walking. Trek walking. Should be good. Should be good. Track looks good. It does look. Track looks. Looks spot on. Prime. Ready to go. It looks like it could rain. What about this? What's it? Sponge. Swim in there. There we go. Oh, look at Bob that. that in there. Like Perfect. That. I'm on my way to AGV to get the helmets prepped and 
I forgot my skins, but Stock Thousand are just out for their practice now. What a perfect day to ride your motorbike. Absolutely banging. Tell you what, I'm proper multitasking here. I've got the rucksack on with all my bits in, and then my helmet's wedged between my legs. I'm not messing about. No messing at all. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll have a medium tint and I'll have two tear offs. Okay. And I'll probably have some sliders off you when I come back. That's Jobs are good at I'm out at one o'clock. Yeah, plenty Sound. Of time. See you in a bit. He was definitely camera shy. Now this bit's going to be hard for me because I've got music over the top. But yeah, this is my muscle gun. I use this to warm up all my muscles, especially my shoulder after my big crash I had. Um, yeah, make sure I'm all good. Make sure I'm ready to go. I don't know if you want me to come over Gonna ask, really I should know better I don't know if you want me to come over So yeah, I'll just try and get my arm and shoulder and everything as warm as I can and, uh, and as loose as I can and so it feels nice and just feels nice and free But yeah, this is my muscle gun and, uh, and you can buy them at Muscle Gun UK This is a carbon one um, it's one of the top of the range models. I really recommend them. I really like using it. It's really easy to use. Got like loads of different attachments and, and it just makes life easy for me. But then I move on to some band work and, and that warms up both shoulders as well. But you can do like single arm uh, pulls and, uh, and that just warms up all your shoulders, shoulder blades, uh, even your back, it engages your back. And then I'll go on to do some, I'll have a stretch first and uh, stretch my calves out, my calf muscles, and then I'll go into doing some press-ups uh, just to warm all the shoulders up, arms, everything, because your arms get really pumped up while you're riding around. It's, uh, it's good to do some press-ups, get your arms up, warmed up. I do a bit my warm up on the vlog life. Do you want to be in the vlog, Ben? Yeah, Skip it for me. It's just a good way to get your body warmed up, get your body ready, especially with my shoulder because I have to do quite a bit of work with my shoulder to get it going. Um, but yeah, it's a good way to warm up, gets everything ready, gets everything pumped, especially your calves, gets your calves really working and. Uh, Definitely ready for when you get out on the bike, but I'm probably going to nip the toilet soon and then I'll get my kit on. Tim, um, Aaron was just looking for you. Oh. Now I like to just have a bit of a dance about, like just get loose and, and get my kit on and just, just, just feel good, just feel loose, feel good, feel ready. But unfortunately I can't play you the music I click because I'll get copyright striked. So what I'm going to do is, I'll have a dance about and listen to my music and we'll see how good my editing skills are and I'll edit some music that's some there or thereabouts over the top and I'll be boogieing away so here we go let's do it
Let's do FP1 then. Yeah, just under two minutes, so. 56. So, we're now changing engines because <clears throat> we've been struggling a bit today and, uh, and, and we can't really put our finger on what it is we're struggling with. We're struggling with spinning a bit. And now we've had a few engines blow up and, uh, and we've made like a, 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 like a, a more like friendly, uh, softer engine. And, uh, and we think that's like causing it to spin a bit more. Um, and it's not what we're used to at all. So it's like we put that engine in, it just feels different. So now we're putting this engine back in, uh, well, our fast engines again. And uh, and it's back to what we know, it's what we're familiar with. And, uh, and we'll keep pushing on. And I think we should have a good day again tomorrow. And uh, I think we'll be back on it, on the pipe. No messing. Why why I keep saying that, that? But yeah, yeah, all's, all's good, all's good. Not a bad Friday but hopefully a better Saturday than a better Sunday. Looks like there could be a bit of rain tomorrow, but it looks like it might blow over, so just have to see, won't we? But the boys are, boys are working away. They love it. They love it. The skip, the skip pudding, come fit, fit my engine. I love them. They're on it. The things you do to go faster. Ha, ha, ha. 
So, let me extend you out a bit. It is Saturday morning now. I've had a good sleep, feel well rested. The, um, the team did a great job last night um, getting the other engine in because we've that other engine is a bit softer on power. Big skills. Um, the other engine we've got in at the minute, when you shut off, when you're spinning, we seem to think it keeps spinning, so it's not as responsive. And um, so yeah, hopefully now we're back to what we know as well, because this en the engine we had in was different to what we run. Uh, it's kind of like a safety engine. Um, but now we've got the engine back in, we know I think we'll be definitely back up there. And it's always one of them things. You always get riders that say, like, oh, I'm not a practice rider, I don't like doing practicing and stuff like that. I'm a Sunday man, I like racing. And, and I'd say I probably maybe am probably a bit more of a Sunday man. Um, and I do like racing, I like getting stuck in and having a meaning, having a meaning to like push and go fast. Obviously, FP1 and 2, you go get through to the super picks. Uh, so there is a meaning, but it's, uh, it's definitely a lot harder. But I've had Good Friday, so I think that's a load of b****. Um, so yeah, let's get down. Uh, bike's on the dyno now. We've got a nice little espresso. That'll perk me up. I don't know why, but like, I'm not a morning person at all. Like, and it, it still doesn't even wake me up. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a, a nice morning poo now. Empty my bowels, ready for a good day. Got a feeling, feel good, feel nice, feel happy, feel smooth. On it, boombox will be on. I'll be having a dance, I'll be having a stretch. I'll be on it. Saturday and Sunday, that's when the party starts. Be quiet, I'm talking. So, FP3, we made some changes last night, change of engine, and we changed the wheelbase quite a lot. And uh, the result was, she feels like a right weapon. Um, but yeah, I still think there's more to give. I think there's more to be done with the bike. I think if I had more consistent lap times, I'd have uh, gone faster over time. I think race pace, I think we're gonna be good. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing a, a track map at the minute and uh, writing down all my things I feel with the bike. And, uh, and yeah, I'll give this to the guys, see what they think, see what they think they can do with the bike to make it better. A few places where I feel that the front's deep. Um, so yeah, all seems good, all seems good. One o'clock, there's 90% coverage of rain. Our qualifying's at half 12, so... I think it's coming just after we go out, so we'll have to see how we do with that. So unfortunately Q1 didn't go as planned. I didn't make it through to Q2, um, it definitely wasn't for lack for trying. Uh, as you can see here, a photographer got some pictures of me on a full-on slide, just couldn't get a lap together. Um, so yeah, we were starting 20th on the grid. <laughs> Right, prep me the wettest, wettest, wet, wet visor you've ever <laughs> wettest seen. Not loads of wax. Oh, there'll be more wax on that. I want everything. You're not even able to see I want everything. It. I want dribble. I want wax. I want everything. Scotch egg. Yeah, Scotch egg. I want the lot. <laughs> I want that on the inside. <laughs> so <you> lick it. <laughs> so qualifying Q1, we were P8 in the end, and. Uh, Straight away on the out lap, I went out, I got a good lap, well I thought it was a good lap, on my dash I said I was 0.3 under, came across the line, I was 0.3 off, um, so I was a bit miffed by that and I thought right I'm going to go for a, another lap here, another fast lap, and then I come out the turn three and uh, Tito Rabat was just walking across the track with his bike and then coming towards me, so I had to like dodge him. And, uh, and that cancelled that lap and then I went on to the next lap and I got I think I had a moment or I got caught up um, so yeah it all just went a bit peak tongue really um, so I didn't get through to uh, Super Bowl they changed the Super Bowl in the end to have uh, to 12 minutes because it was wet and 
and obviously they ended where they ended. I think we could have had a really good result if we'd have made it through to the Super Bowl qualifying. Um, but the race is going to be wet and I think it should be good. I feel good in the wet. Obviously, as you guys know from my last video in the Supermoto in the wet, I did really well. Um, so, yeah, I've just got to be confident, push on hard, uh, get my confidence up in the wet, make sure I feel good. I've not had any wet practice so far on the Superbike round here. Um, but, yeah, from what I've seen, it looks really grippy apart from the start and finish. They look like they're struggling a little bit getting onto there. But you're going to, you've got 200 brake horse. Um, but... Yeah, no, I'm excited. I'm nervous, but excited. But yeah, should be good. Should be good. Yeah, I think we'll be well away. Then Vickers in the lead. Fantastic stuff. Their new winners potentially on the cards here in Bennett's Pro Superbike. Bit further back there is Glenn Irwin. There, he's in eighth place, just ahead of Peter Hickman, with Storm Stacy hunting them down as well. Number 79. That's great to see on the star line, Kawasaki. Yeah. He was quite far down on the grid as well. Stacey was 20th on the grid, so he's made a, a bundle of places up. Yeah, really talented lad, he's Storm Stacey. Um, in anything, anything that's got wheels and an engine, he can go really quick. I saw him getting a, a go-kart first time ever, and he was blindingly fast in it. Walking off. And that means, yeah, there's smoke coming out. That smoke, yeah, yeah absolutely. It. And the problem is, when it's conditions like this, if you start dropping oil, it just... It, it's a red flag, it is a red flag. Track contamination yeah, potentially from Leon Haslam. Yeah, and, and the problem is when it's wet, it floats on the water, it spreads out massively, and you can't control it. Leon, Leon Haslam puts his arm up. We were not at two thirds race distance there either. We've only just worked, what, that's just exactly, over halfway through. Yeah, that's exactly what the meatball flag, uh, the, the, the red and orange flag, is for to let a rider know that some issue with his bike. Uh, the first thing you generally do is look down and make sure that you carrying on going round is not putting other people at risk. Uh, but there's no more experienced rider than, than, than Leon and uh, conscientious as well. So. so, we've done race one. And it's got to it be a dig off the certain piece and the, plonk, the plonker, innit? What? I don't know. I've done You're it. off it. Off it. Yeah, it was a wet race one. We had a really good one. I passed 12 people on the first lap. Um, I definitely felt confident. Dogs' wet setup was unreal. Felt and good. Aaron's. And Aaron's. Aaron's setup. Aaron's and dogs. Aaron's data. No, it was nothing to do with Aaron. It was dogs. Dogs and Aaron. It was dogs' <laughs> setup. No, I'm um, not, I can't take that. <laughs> it's definitely Aaron's. No, dogs. Um, dogs. Uh, Aaron's done the data really good. The, the engine braking map was uh, splendid coming in. We had a bit of spin coming out the corners, which I think if we could have dialed that out, I think we could have gone a bit quicker. But we dialed it out, but then they didn't restart the race. And uh, <laughs> it would have won anyway. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, no, good, good race. P8, we're happy with that. Tomorrow is probably going to be dry. We've got a good uh, setting for that. We've got one a as good well. setting for the dry. Got another good setting in for him. Yeah. Aaron's had nothing to do with it whatsoever. No. Nope. He just he just. I don't know why Aaron comes. I to be fair. Him, to be fair. Um, oh, but it should Danny? be good. He didn't do nothing. Oh, Danny did not do it. Danny's a communicator. <laughs> right. What's that? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Well, warm up went well. We're about P3 through warm up most of the session, then dropping down, going up, dropping down, going up. Um, we're going into the race, I think we feel pretty confident, don't we, Dom? I'm really confident. Yeah. Because it's, it's mint sat here. We don't have to do much, really. Just put my glasses on, take them off, put them on, take them off again. Put them back on again, take them off again, and then put them back on again. And then generally take them back off again. It's generally all I do all day. Oh, polish screen, good at that. Yeah, yeah, you I do got that. some of that Bobby spray, stops it misting up, water disperses off. You get on Amazon, it's $8.99. Honestly, that's all I did for the wet race, and he got seven. Restart with a one, because I would have read Bobby. <laughs> the, the screen, and I, 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 with my glasses on as well. 
Because when I did it for the race, they had my glasses on. Dead easy. And Aaron, Aaron, he didn't do know. <laughs> Water. But yeah, warm up went well. I think the races should be good. We start in P13. Oh, we just got to get away. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, we've got the wash. Just that way, are you, Maggie? Look, look. Oh, thing. What should we call him? You found him. What should we call him? Phyllis. Here, look, look. You won't have many mates. Phyllis. Phyllis. Hello, Phyllis. The GR Motorsport documentary team. Phyllis. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Sunday's quite a busy day for me um, because we have a team hospitality talk in the morning and then we have pit lane walk, usually before race one. So let's go and get that team hospitality talk done. Quite a great history for some of the youngest ever uh, PSV Championship Series race winner, the youngest 600 Rook winner, and the youngest ever uh, superbike driver anywhere in the world at 16. Um, in his first year, he scored a point as well at Silverstone. His first race, the first year was as well. Stop, Stacey. I'll stay you all first. Um, yeah, warm up was good this morning, really enjoyed that. Um, but to start the weekend, we've got a bit of a, a, a skip start, do that, push your water up, up a little bit to start the weekend. Friday was good with it. Anyone else? Okay, we'll see you now. Question there. Has anyone outside got a question? Not the spectators. I'm getting excited. Lovely to meet you all. So, it's race time. I've had me, me rave. I'm all up, I'm out of breath. I'm on it, worked up, good to go. Lucy's on the steps, so I can't get out. But now I can, because she's moved. We're coming down the steps. Greatness is gonna happen. Lewis is here, Lucy's here. They're all here as witnesses. Let's do this. How's your day going, Claire? Fabulous. Yeah? Plenty of guests, lots of fun. So I'm waiting now, I'm waiting for the count. 
some old two strokes out on track at the minute. We've got guests in the garage. Stout UK guests. But we are ready for race two. Now it's the longer races. So yesterday's race was maybe 12 laps. And now today they are 20 and 20. Obviously it got shortened down to seven laps yesterday because of the red flag. But yeah, should be good. Should be really good. I feel confident, feel good. Bike feels good. Warm up went well. I'm gonna try and get you out on the grid. So we're on the grid now. Ready for the race. Can't see it. So, race free done. We're packing up now. It's been a good weekend, hasn't it, dogs? Yeah. I've had my glasses on off at least 50 times. Yeah, you've been on it. You've been on it. Um, but yeah, bike's done as good. Yeah. She's yeah. a weapon. Yeah. Dogs is set up. Aaron, unreal. Aaron's in the back doing nothing again. Yeah, she doing nothing does, again. Do anything. <laughs> it was wheeling everywhere. Yeah. Come on, Aaron. Come on, Aaron. Come on, Aaron. Come on, Aaron. Do something. Do something. Come on, Jeff Jr. But yeah, this is what goes down now. We've got to pack away. The Royal Week. We can do a lot. Oh my god. Did you just do something then? I didn't think so. What was that? Get him flicked out, man. Well, now it's time for a three and a half hour drive. Oh. It has been a great weekend. I have really enjoyed it. Brands, oh my God, what's going on? Brands is usually a bit of a struggle for us on Kawasaki. I mean, the Kawasaki's didn't finish dead high this weekend. Um, but yeah, I think we definitely had a good brands there. P7, uh, d -d 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 13th, I think, and then 12th, uh, 11th, sorry. Um, yeah, good weekend. But I can't wait to be home, see my dog, Dolly. What a babe. I'll see you when I'm at home. Hopefully, I get home. So, 
finally made it home and Dolly just started a period. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just what we needed that one it doll. Hey. Eh? Just what we needed. Hey eh, babe. You little baby. Well, I'm going to end the video there with my baby. Come here then. So, hit the like and subscribe and we're going to say goodbye and we've had a good bronze hatch. And we do. Hey, are you doing poor? Massive thank you to everyone that brought merch over the weekend and seeing you guys wearing it is honestly surreal. It's so cool to see. Uh, massive thank you to the team, sponsors, everyone that makes it possible. I really had a good weekend for Brands Hatch and, uh, and I hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog because there shall be more to come. Bye!